Hi everyone, this is Jeannie, and welcome whoopity, to my channel. You know, I'm not kidding, this is about the 16th time I have done this video, but it's on my hair, my hair routine, and it's really hot and humid out here, but I had to move out here. There's a lot of interruptions going on in the house. Good ones, but interruptions. So anyhow, um, I wanted to tell you first about damage my damaged hair story. It's just unbelievable. I had this spot on my hair right here for five or six years, ever since I retired from the hospital. And I have been going to the salon, different salons, talking to people, Googling it, getting on YouTube, trying to figure out what is causing this damage to my hair. I thought it was my tools, my equipment, my product, my I didn't know what it was. I discovered about a week ago what it was. I couldn't believe it. When I retired, I became more of the passenger of the car instead of the driver of the car, which explains this side. So what I would do, I would get into the car and pull my seatbelt down and it would begin right here where the damage is. Pull my seatbelt down and snap it in and then take my hair and flip it out, but it would pull every single time. It would pull my hair. I couldn't believe it. I stopped doing that. Hopefully, I'll be able to notice a difference. The other thing I was doing was using a shoulder bag sometime, and it would pull my hair on this side. Not this side, this side. It would pull my hair, rip it to shreds. Stop doing that. Um, Another thing I was doing was, believe it or not, taking a piece of hair right back there, going like this. It's probably in some of my videos. I try never to do that, but I do that just like a two-year-old. I don't do that anymore, but I would do it right here. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I also remember this morning putting on my bathrobe and feeling my hair rip. I mean, I would put it on, it was heavy, and I would feel it coming down my hair and then flipping my hair out. That's what I would do. I'm not doing that anymore either. Can you believe it? I think I found the answer to my damaged hair. So let me tell you how I wash my hair every two days. <clears throat> and it is about every other day or every two days. The first thing I do on dry hair is put on a really thick mask. You can find those at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, high-end. I use whatever I have. I always make sure I have some on hand. I put two scoops, <laughs> one in each hand, and then put it all over my hair and leave it there for about 30 minutes. Then I'll get into the shower and I'll use a lightweight shampoo. Um, by lightweight, I mean I don't use the one kind of shampoo that will strip all the oils out of your hair because I figure, okay, I'm going to wash my hair again in a couple of days. So I make sure I use a really good, lightweight shampoo. I'll shampoo my hair and then I'll put on another thick hair mask. And then I wash and it takes about five minutes. And then I'll rinse that out and then use the matching conditioner of my shampoo, whatever it is. And you know, put it in, be really, really gentle, and then I'll rinse it all out with a big wide tooth comb. When I'm done with that, I'll gently dry my hair um, with a towel, get dressed, and then go to where my vanity is, and I'll blow dry my hair with an attachment on it. I don't use the full, you know, the hair dryer with just, I make sure I have the attachment on. And I do use high heat because I have thick hair. And then when it's dry, I use an iron, and I just iron it all the way through. So I use a lot of heat on my hair. Um, oh, before I dry it, I forgot to even tell you this. I put in lots of conditioners on top of my conditioner. Uh, before I'm blow drying it, it's still wet, I use something called bamboo, and it's a leave-in moisturizer that you put on your hair. And then I use a detangler squirt, and then I use a heat spray by L'Oreal. And let me check.
check. I think that's all. Just tangle-free products, and then I comb it out very gently with my wet brush. It's a brush specially made for wet hair, and it's very, um, it's good, it's not damaging to your hair, so I use that, and then I'll blow dry it. Then I'll, when it's all dry, I'll use my straightener. And after that, I'll put a couple of pumps of just a little bit of oil, Moroccan oil, in my hands, and then put it all through my hair. And then I also have some spray Moroccan oil that I use maybe in the morning, right where it's damaged, and at night before I go to bed. I also use um, a silk cap at night when I go to bed so that my hair isn't rubbing all over my cotton pillowcases. I don't, I didn't really care for the silk pillowcases. I've tried so hard to love that, but I don't. Um, I use a, a hat when I go outside so my hair doesn't get damaged as well as my face and skin. I take vitamins, I take collagen, collagen B complex and a multivitamin and the hair, skin and nails, I take that. I color my own hair. I use nice and easy, golden blonde one time, light the next, and I do this every three weeks. And I only do the part. I don't put hair color all over my hair at all. Um, I don't brush my hair during the day. I just try to fix it you know, with my fingers like that because I don't want anything rough on my hair. Um, I think that's it. I think that's my hair routine, and I do this every other day. But I think the most important thing is to try to be self-aware of what you're doing during the day with your hair. You know, are you twirling it? Are you putting your shoulder back on it to damage it? Are you yanking it with a seatbelt? Ugh, I can't believe it. And I bet if I was more aware, I'd figure out more things I'm doing that's not good for my hair. So that is it. I'm about to have company, so I'm going to go, but I just thought I'd uh, do this hair routine video. I've had people ask for such a long time for it, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, I'll try to list somehow. When I do it on my phone, I don't know how to add any kind of information, so I'm just going to put this up. You can take notes if you want to watch it and leave questions or comments below if you need clarification. I know I'm babbling on about things, but anyhow, thank you so much for asking everyone. I will see you in my next video. Bye.